Hello, viewers and subscribers. Today, we're diving into a pressing issue that's become increasingly relevant in our society. The rise of anti-baby mama culture and the growing regret among women who have made poor choices in their relationships, particularly those involving pookies or bad boys. Before we delve into this topic, make sure to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you. Lately, there has been a notable shift towards scrutinizing the choices of women who become single mothers, especially those who have children with unreliable partners. This shift is largely fueled by growing frustration with what some term baby mama culture, where women find themselves struggling to manage their lives and finances after choosing partners who are often seen as irresponsible or unsuitable. Take, for instance, a recent viral post from a single mother begging online for help with basic necessities like food for her child. This situation has sparked a heated debate online, with many criticizing the trend of turning to the internet for aid rather than seeking practical solutions or making lifestyle changes. Critics argue that this reflects a larger issue where individuals, particularly women, are seen as shirking personal responsibility by relying on the kindness of strangers. The frustration extends to those who perceive that some women are leveraging their struggles for sympathy while failing to address the root causes of their problems. For example, there are viral stories of women with multiple children by different fathers who publicly complain about their circumstances, yet continue to make similar choices. These stories often provoke strong reactions, with some viewers advocating for a return to traditional values and greater personal accountability. Another point of contention is the glorification of being a single mother or the so-called baby mama lifestyle. Many criticize this as a form of self-promotion rather than a genuine effort to address the difficulties faced by single parents. They argue that this kind of public display can sometimes serve to normalize or even celebrate a challenging and often detrimental lifestyle choice. Additionally, there are growing calls to return to more traditional values, where having children within the context of a stable, committed relationship is emphasized. Many people lament the decline of the village mentality, where extended family and community support played a crucial role in raising children. Instead, they argue that today's single mothers often lack the necessary support systems and face greater isolation. The rise of anti-baby mama culture reflects broader societal frustrations with the consequences of poor relationship choices and the perceived lack of responsibility in managing these consequences. This shift is accompanied by a call for more personal accountability and a reassessment of values surrounding family and parenting. To fully understand the implications of this cultural shift, including the statements made by notable figures like Amber Rose on related issues, stay tuned for the rest of the video. We'll explore these perspectives in depth and examine how they influence the ongoing debate. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you for watching. Since you be the right man, it's kind of be empty. I don't have no food. Somebody in the comments said, go sell the refrigerator. Mm. I promise, bro. <laughs> y'all don't take shit serious on the internet. Side note, y'all are becoming way too comfortable with coming on this app and begging strangers to help you take care of the children that you chose to have. Then I go to Shorty's page, she over 30 years old. 30 years old online begging for money. You better sell that phone in your hand. You better get out there and start selling it if you got to. There's a million, quadrillion, quadrillion, bazillion, mammalian things you can do besides begging strangers on the internet to help you take care of your child while she's screaming in the background. You're basically prostituting your child out for some sympathy points. If you can't feed your baby, then don't have a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Someone. I don't care what any baby mama say. Having to raise your kids by yourself is not a flex. And this is coming from a single mother. Listen to your sister. 
Don't let any baby mama deceive you into believing that being a single mother is more convenient than being a wife. You hear me? When I was pregnant with my daughter, I went through the whole pregnancy by myself. Ain't nobody going me to no appointments, no baby child, no gender reveal. When my water broke, I got us to the hospital and from the hospital. And I can go on and on about my baby daddy, F my baby dad, F my baby dad, but I slept with him. So what kind of woman did that make me? A crazy motherfucker. Okay, you way too beautiful, way too smart, way too intelligent to be going through something like that. So live your soft girl life. Ain't nothing wrong with saying you too good to be a baby mama. You right, because us strong black women, not strong because we choose to be. We strong because we have to be. Okay, so I don't know where this comment went. I think she deleted it before I could post my video response, but I'm still going to respond because I think this is an important thing to say. And frankly, y'all are starting to piss me off. I don't know when this competition of spouses versus baby mama or spouses versus baby daddy, spouse versus wife, wife versus baby mama. I don't know when that started, but it's starting to legit piss me off. I don't know what this generation has going on, but I am getting so sick of it. Somebody commented on my video earlier earlier today with this fake outrage calling me insensitive and saying that I was out of line because I said I was his wife and not his baby mama. She said, I'm a baby mama and I lost the father of my child and that baby mama comment was so insensitive. That ain't it. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that you lost the father of your child. I truly am. I know what that feels like. But the reality is, if that man did not take the steps to make you his legal heir, if you were not tied to him in any way, then all you were entitled to when he passed away was common respect and decency. See, when somebody passes away, if he had passed away and the only connection I had to him was my child, then I would have been worried about child support, some type of support. I'll be thinking, now who's going to take care of my kid? Who is going to co-parent my child? Because the only connection I had to that man would have been my child. But no, as his wife, my whole life is intertwined with this man. So I have to be thinking bigger than just my my kid and not only do I have to be thinking bigger than that I had more responsibility than that because when that bill came guess who that bill came to not the people who clinked out his bank account now if I was just a baby mama I would not have had to worry about all that I could have went on about my merry way continued on my life and figured out how I was gonna take care of my child maybe even hop to the next man if I wanted to but it's different it's not the same and I'm getting so aggravated I'm getting furious with this generation acting like it's it's not different. It's completely different. I'm not saying that one is better than the other. That is not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is it is a fact. Being somebody's spouse carries more responsibility. Do you know that when my husband was in his last moments, they came to me to decide to pull the plug? And do you know the type of strength it took to make a, that decision for him? But at the end of the day, I had to step up and I had to do it because I was his wife. That was my job. It is not the same as simply sharing a child with somebody. It is deeper than that. Some men ain't tired of being around their kids. They are tired of being around a baby mama. Every time he come around the kids, he bring the kids something, she want the money. Now, if she care about them kids, as long as them kids get something, it should be okay. Some of these women want to use some of that money for their own benefit. Now, she can use that money to buy that child something cheap and keep the rest of the money for herself. Now, if you're giving her money for the child, why all the money ain't going to the child? Now, if she want to pay her bills, she get a job. That's how it's supposed to go, right? You want the man to go to work to provide for his child, but you got to go to work too. As long as that man take care of his bills at his house and take care of that child, he helping you out. Because what he doing, you ain't got to do that much. The child stay with you. You always around that child, right? So when that child needs something, you can give some too. See, some of these women got to learn to help the man out too, and everybody can get along. She's so bitter that she ain't with him no more. She going to use anything to get on his nerve. She always going to be worried about what woman around the kids. I understand that, but that man got to have a life too. I'm sure that daddy ain't going to put his child in danger knowing he love his child. If y'all ain't together no more, stop using that child against him because you can't get what you want. Let me tell you something. You and him is over. Y'all got to co-parent and love that child. That's all that matters. He's just a baby mama. I want to be a wife. Like, I, I want it to be love, marriage, baby.
It's so crazy to me how people are outraged by the message that she gave. She's saying it's better to be married or make it mandatory for a man to marry you in order to give you a child. And of course, oh, marriage is not a guarantee, but it's it's at least a try. Like, at least you tried not to fail. But to just totally bypass standards and just say, oh, no, I'm just going to be a baby mother and make that the norm is really crazy. Like, do y'all know what it means to be a baby mother, to raise kids on your own by yourself? Do y'all know what that means? It's real ghetto. Even if you have a child with somebody that has means and he's giving you a good amount of child support or y'all have a good co-parenting relationship, it's still ghetto as hell. A child should be in a home with the mother and the father, a husband and a wife. When you veer away from that, that's when we start having so many problems. And that's all she's saying. And I agree with her. It's like, why is that such a bad thing for her to say why is her saying that she wished Ashanti would be a wife before she gives Nelly a child so bad I don't know but I have to agree with her 100% Ashanti all this time she's waited she deserves to be a wife I approve the message remember when I told y'all that there's somebody out there for everybody and what one woman is not willing to accept another woman is there with her hands out waiting for crumbs That's exactly the situation that reminds me of this whole Nelly and Ashanti relationship, right? He was with that other woman for nearly a decade. And she went on that show and she said, I don't want to be just a baby mama. I want to be a wife. Like, I I want it to be love, marriage, baby, and in that order. And in that order. And I don't, we don't know why they broke up. Or at least I don't know why they broke up. And now he's rebounding with Ashanti. And let's just call it what it is. It's a rebound, sis. Like, it's a rebound. I hate to see Ashanti going out bad like this. Because honestly, when I saw that she was pregnant, in my head, I said, yikes. Because already, sis, and why didn't you make him marry you? But this is a middle-aged man who did not marry the woman that he was engaged to for seven years. And he's probably not going to marry Ashanti either. And if we're really keeping it a buck... Probably the only reason that he's with Ashanti is because he's nearing, he's he's already middle age and he's nearing the end of his life and he wants somebody to spend the rest of his life with and he wants a kid and Chantel was not going to give him a kid without marriage. A lot of black women are too comfortable being the baby moms. Now Chantel was like, I'm not going to be a baby mom. But Ashanti was like, oh, please, please love me. I'll be a baby mom. Girl. One thing I know for a fact, I would never be a baby mom again. I will never wrongfully choose the father of my kids again, and I mean that. Because choosing the wrong person to procreate with, choosing um, a man irresponsibly will definitely cost you. Cost you where you will be raising your child by yourself. You will solely be the provider doing the majority of the work. And not just financially, but it's so much more that comes with raising raising children. And that's a problem in today's society, especially with our people. A lot of us are single parents because we wrongfully choose the type of man to lay down with. I truly believe if we allow God to guide us um, with our person before we give our body to Everything is going to work out exactly how it's supposed to. If we do some real healing and that way we attract quality people, we won't be in this game like this. You know what I'm saying? If we vet properly, check people, check people's character, check their heart posture, figure out what it is that you stand firm on, what a man has to be to even become your, uh, become your husband and become the father of your kids, and you'll be leaving so much to just unnecessary mess out. Only if I knew what I knew now at the age of 17, at the age of 16, shit, at the age of 13 when I get my body away. <sighs> yeah, don't submit to this culture lifestyle, honey. If you don't have kids, we go right where they get into marriage. One thing I do like about social media, they are pushing out marriages. When I was growing up, I didn't see any of that. I thought it was and being a baby mother like that's what I've seen in my family only if TikTok was prevalent back in my days <laughs> I'm talking about when I was in high school 
because I'm at a stage in my life where I don't even submit to the boyfriend girlfriend culture anymore I don't even speak on that topic it's marriage when it's time for me to really date and be serious I'm looking for marriage I'm looking I'm looking for marriage I'm looking for husband potential somebody uh, that I will be proud of to raise my daughter and my sons with my future children with And sometimes it hurt because, you know, once you broaden your horizons, you look at life different. It's like, damn, you see what your child is going without, unfortunately, without that two-parent household, without two healthy parents. Even if it's a co-parent type of thing, you still need two healthy people that two healthy people that know their role when it comes to a child. So make sure when it's time to bring children, if you're thinking about it, first of all, hand in hand vet that man properly make sure that man has the abilities to be your husband first off and have the abilities to be the father and role model to your future children